but it's it's pretty tricky so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in and show you the picking pattern nice and slow and then you can work on it but if you're a beginner and you just want to play the song the chords are actually super easy it's the picking pattern that's hard all right big shock it's the axis of four awesome chords which are a minor F C and G over and over and over and over and over um, but the F chord is a is a different kind of F chord it's an F sus2 it's actually really a, a nice little chord to to know and I'm going to show it to you right now it's going to have uh, you know capo on by the way capo is on the 6th fret I'll say it again and so you have one, two, three, third fret on the A, third fret on the D, open G, index on the first of the B. I'm just going down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. capo is on the 6th fret and we start with an A minor chord. So we start with that A minor chord and here's what the pattern sounds like. That's the first chord. And what you want to do, we're just going to go like this. So we started on the A string and went down to the B on picking. Then we're going to go to the D string pick. Check this out. The next move, we're still holding this A minor and you're going to do a high E to the D, like this. So, when you put that to this, we're almost there. So check this out. One more time real slow. So the next thing we're going to do is go B, G, D. And when you hear the recording, that G is pretty muted compared to the other notes, but I'm pretty sure it's in there. So here's, So we'd have this. The final move from this A minor chord is we're going to hammer with our index finger onto that same note from the A minor, then the open E, followed by the G pick. So you'd have this. Check it out one more time. So the next chord is called an F suspended 2, and it looks like this though. We're going to take ring finger on the 3rd fret of the A, and then pinky on the 3rd fret of the D, open G, 
index on the first of the B. And the pattern goes like this. D, A, A. Then G, D, A. So we got D, A, A, G, D, A. Just like that. So check it out. Goes right to the B next, then the D, then the G, D, A. So it looks like this. That's that second chord. One more time. Okay, the next chord we're going to do is a C chord. And we do a little pattern. We're going to go. With the C chord. G, D, B, I mean G, D, A strings. Then from the B, so it's like, so it'd be G, D, A, B, G, D, then the first one again. twice there on the end, that which is the first pattern of the C chord, then, and the first one twice. Alright, then we have a G chord, and it looks like this. So we're only hitting, there's no high E, but it's just easier for me to form it that way. And there's actually no uh, A string picked either. So really, we just really just need a middle finger down on the third fret of the E. But I just form a G chord because it's just easier for me to think of it that way. And then we go E, D, B. Then G, D. So it would look like this. back to the G, so you'd have. Back to the D to the, to the low E, so you'd have. Then, B, G, D, B, G, D, so it's B, G, D, B, G, D, then the whole thing would start over. So that last G pattern, one more time. And there you have the intricate picking pattern.